early in round one, Bondarenka and Kovalyova lead by just 50 thousandths over the Chinese team of Lu Yufu and Meng Fei, and now another Russian team, and it is the, well, the Madonna and uh, Dennis Rodman of gymnastics. Alexei Nemov <laughs> gets ready to go. Sexy Alexei is the nickname he's earned, and he was the dominant Goodwill Games athlete in 94. Here already, he's got a first on the floor. He's the reigning world champion on this event, and his coach, Yevgeny Nikolko, says because he had a lot of choreography training, he's so polished. But, boy, this power in the double-double laid-out position is just overwhelming. That's a more difficult tumbling run than he did in the earlier competitions this week. Get a very serious face on before this performance. You never know what to expect from Nemov now. He really likes hamming it up for the crowd. I just love the toe point, the extension, the polish. I think young gymnasts out there should really pay attention to how he presents his routines because not only does he have the power and the quickness, watch this punch right here to front one and a quarter. Oh, he's a little shorter rotation. He pulled it around and yet he still stylizes the finish. I couldn't agree with you more. It's just beautiful to watch and this is what young gymnasts out there should pattern their gymnastics after. So much emphasis these days on difficulty, but if you don't have the polish, you can't get a good score either. Pike double back. Beautiful. Alexei Nemov. And we'll see just as much flair from his teammates, Svetlana Hoyt. <laughs> and there he goes. Give him a little applause, and he is turned on. This is a very important front tumbling sequence. Three bounding skills in a row. And boy, just finishes off perfectly. These elements are called the flares. He goes up the handstand, and watch how he goes down, and it's important to not brush your feet on the carpet as you spin those flares. And Svetlana Horkina, who is the queen of the bars, on the bar. <gasps> she oh. is exquisite on this event, usually, and I, just, I think everyone held their breath right there in this arena. Almost didn't make it over on that pirouette, but she did it with such style. I don't think she'll get much of a deduction. On this event, 96 Olympic gold, 97 World Championship gold, 98 European gold. She is taking things right to the maximum here, including a great dismount and landing. I think her heart's racing, though, pretty fast on that one pir pirouette move. <laughs> Svetlana Horkina. You notice she has a haircut since a couple of days ago. Some days she comes in the gym, her hair is blonde. Some days it's red. I saw her in France about a month ago, and her hair was red, white, and blue. This is a gorgeous move. It's named after her for good reason. She invented it and does it better than anybody in the world, obviously. Look at the straight body line. I mean, the judges love this routine for lots of reasons. Look at the amplitude on the dismount. And of course, a perfect landing. Well, Niemov and Horkina. And yesterday, the Russian team in Manhattan doing a little shopping, spending some of those uh, millions in rubles that they have earned here in their prize money in these Goodwill games. Prize money for the mixed pairs. First place is $4,000. And of course, the finals is tomorrow as we await the scores. We'll see these two competing again. Yamov will be on the high bar tonight. Horkina on the balance beam. <laughs> Greg, you talk about the prize money. They win $4,000, and uh, when you translate that to Russian rubles, that's about, uh, oh, about 250 million rubles. That's a pretty good day's work. Not bad. But uh, in reality, he doesn't know. Here they are. <laughs> Oh. Well, the judging is tight tonight. The score is coming up a little slowly as we move through our competition. And we return to competition. David Cruz of the U.S. Uh, now training in Colorado Springs at the Olympic Training Center there. And he will be our first to go on the pommel horse. His teammate 
is Jamie Dancher. He was a member of the University of California at Berkeley collegiate team and then he worked as an assistant coach last year until he recently moved up to the training center in Colorado Springs. He hopes to stay there for the next two years and make his effort to try to make the U.S. team for the Olympics in 2000. And then he's going to go back and uh, go to medical school when it's all over. The scores for Nemoff and Horkina. Nemoff on the floor, 9.625. Horkina on the bars, 9.850. Their total, 19.475, and that makes them number one. The other now Russian team, Bondarenka, captaining that team, is in second, the Chinese third. The event of pommel horse has gotten more and more complicated over the years. The judges require some very unusual combinations. Watch this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight moves on one pommel, and he travels back to the end of the horse. Watch for how long they stay on one single pommel, because the longer they stay up there, the more bonus points they're racking up from the judges. Oh, just a little low in his shoulders there. Kept it moving nicely. A oh, beautiful flare up the handstand. Great helicopter dismount off. David Cruz, 95 U.S. champion on the pommel horse. This is the first American pair. You can watch on this flat pommel. Notice it's flat across the top. In the old days, it used to be rounded, and it was very hard to get your hand placement on there. One of the reasons they can do these eight elements on one single pommel in a row is because that pommel is flat across the top now. Jamie Dancher, uneven bars. Great opportunity for this young lady. She actually qualified for the world championship team last year, but because of the new age requirement, minimum age requirement, she was too young. She can use this to gain confidence. Good cover up. She has everything it takes to be great at this level. She lacks a little bit of confidence in competition. I'm glad she pulled that off for her sake. Oh, just did a tuck double flyaway. She must have been having some trouble with her grips or just didn't feel confident or strong enough there. I talked with her coach Steve Ryback and she can do a double twisting double back somersault but he said she's been having trouble with it and you know it wasn't long ago when she had surgery on her wrist so she's still recovering from that. Well, it was just in May as a matter of fact so this is an impressive return. Jamie Dantzler second event will be the balance beam whereas her partner David Cruz will go to the high bar. We're going to have some big high bar performances tonight. Dantzler trying to make a bit of a name for herself here has been sort of operating in the shadows of her teammate. And Vanessa. best friend. Yeah, Vanessa Adler. Who won uh, two events here at the Goodwill Games, both the vault and the floor exercise. And this is really good for her. I, I'm glad that she was able to cover that skill because she needs to show herself that not only is she good enough to be here, but that she can cover up tiny little mistakes and get through. When you wait, like Cruz and Dantzler are here, do you have a pretty good idea of what your scores are going to be? I think so. I mean, within reason, sometimes something fluky can happen. Well, it's a 9.250 for Cruz, 8.9 for Dancher. When we come back from commercial, we'll go to Jim Lampley as the Goodwill Games continue.